ahead and tell you what happened so you can hear it from me personally. And that is that allegations were made that Ms. Wynn engaged in behavior that would be classified even in my mind as inappropriate. And that is giving opposition research to a Democrat candidate, in this case Paul Lucas, to, uh, to hurt the Republican uh, nominee uh, in the 68th, which was at that time Van Tran. And uh, those allegations were brought to my attention. And so I went and talked to Paul Lucas. Actually, I didn't meet him personally. I spoke to him twice over the telephone. And I asked Mr. Lucas if, in fact, opposition research was provided by Janet Wynn to him in the race. His answer was no. I proceeded to engage in a conversation with him that went on for 10 or 15 minutes. And I kept asking him, because it was a very serious allegation that I thought, and so I wanted to get to the bottom of it and find out whether, in fact, anything had been given. And I asked him repeatedly, repeatedly. And at one point in time, after about 10 minutes in this conversation, he had said, well, yes, there was one discussion about a uh, criminal complaint that was filed uh, related to Van Tran's family. And I said, well, was anything given to you by Ms. Wynn in that regard? And he said, no, uh, there was a discussion about the case, the case filing, the fact that it was public. Well, I asked Ms. Wynn about that to find out. And of course, she, you could expect what her answer would be, no, I don't even know the case number. None of that was provided. So there's these allegations that all this information was provided to Paul Lucas. And there was nothing that he could think of in the first 10 minutes of a conversation that would indicate that Ms. Wynn did anything inappropriate. He made a statement of the obvious, however. They really don't like each other. And I said, thank you, I figured that out. But um, my point is, I don't know who put this letter out here tonight, but it's a letter from Paul Lucas. And now let me read to you what he thinks happened. It says, during my run for state assembly against Van Tran in 2006, Janet Wynn, provided me with a summary of votes that would be damaging to the incumbent of the 68th Assembly District. The information was useful to any Democrat running against Van Tran. Now, according to my conversation with Mr. Lucas, this is a lie. And I would hope that anybody sitting in here tonight would not let a Democrat member of the Central Committee influence what you think and how you're going to vote tonight. This is the type of gutter politics that is bringing a black eye to this party. <laughs> the personal destruction of an individual that you disagree with should be stopped, and it should be stopped here tonight. If we continue on this path, there will be no reason for anybody to join the Republican Party. Because it looks like a party... It wants to destroy itself, eat each other, display it all in public, and promote lies in the name of positioning yourself to win a vote. I reject this. I hope that every one of you reject this. And with that said, I am supporting Janet Wynn for her real life. seek a motion to endorse Janet Wynn for re-election as supervisor. Moved by Mr. Glab, second by Mr. Knight. I suspect there will be some debate on this. You just want to have a vote? All right. Does anybody seek to speak to this motion? Mr. Chairman.
There is a, um, I, Mr. Chairman, I presume that is a motion. I'll accept that as a motion, as it had been seconded by Mr. Nichols. Uh, with that, there will be just some debate on it. So we'll have speakers on uh, both sides. Who wishes to speak in favor of the motion? Mr. Chairman and colleagues, uh, I just think that we have had uh, so much uh, as far as on these nominations and, uh, that uh, we don't need to uh, be the public in that today. We need the privacy of our uh, heartfelt sentiments. Uh, there's a better way to do it. Secret ballot. Uh, there won't be any question about the vote count, but that will be on paper and away we go. I would like that privilege to be able to vote quietly. I guess I'll just speak from here. With all due deference to uh, Chairman Quinte, uh, I do believe that we all enjoy the right to privacy when we vote you know, you know, in regular elections. But like 